So, Charles Barkley, the guy who spent his playing days dominating the court, is now contemplating stepping back from the broadcast throne. What a plot twist. It's like watching a lion decide to open up a vegetarian restaurant. I mean, come on, Chuck. The only thing you should be retiring from is your questionable fashion choices at the studio. Let's discuss that impressive salary. I mean, I thought my Netflix subscription was expensive, but Barclays earnings? It's like paying for a whole season of Friends every month. Seriously though, what is he being paid for? Sharing hot takes that turn cold faster than his golf swing? I'd pay him to just sit there and look confused. That's entertainment. And there's the retirement factor. Now you know that leaving TNT would make waves bigger than a Shark Week special. People might actually shed tears. Not because they'll miss him, but because they'll miss listening to him mispronounce player names. And then there's Kobe Bryant. Oh, Chuck, you mix up names like I mix my cereal flavors. Wildly. The world of sports broadcasting has grown fonder of Barkley with each silly comment and outrageous laugh. I mean, who else could turn an analysis segment into an underappreciated stand-up routine? Maybe Barkley should take the hint and tour as a comic. Ever heard of Laughs with Barkley? I can already see the t-shirts rolling out. So here's the burning question. If Barkley retires from TNT, should we prepare for a Barkley Unplugged special featuring his rants about everything from basketball to why pineapple doesn't belong on pizza? No feed of basketball highlights, just pure Barkley debating with himself. Trust me, it'll spark discussions at family dinners for weeks. But really, what would TNT be without Sir Charles? It's like a basketball game without a halftime show. Unheard of. Just imagine inside the studio. Without his charisma, it'd be quieter than a library. And that's a big deal when people are talking about slam dunks all around them. Would we have to resort to asking Shaq for jokes? Let's not go there. In closing, Charles, is retirement really on the table or just a glimpse into the future where your newest gig is a reality show about finding a cat? Seriously, if you could commentate on your own life like a sport, would it be a slam dunk or a buzzer beater? It's your time to shine, folks. What do you think? Like and subscribe, please.